A landowner is planning a secret cull of a colony of beavers living in the wild on the Tay. That's the claim from wildlife campaigners who allege the authorities have been encouraging estate owners and land managers to kill the animals while making sure the public doesn't find out about it. But as our environment correspondent David Miller reports, that's been strongly denied by the Scottish Government. Here on the Banff estate near Aileth in Perthshire, it's easy to see the impact which beavers can have on the landscape. I'm standing beside a dam made of branches and twigs, which is almost as tall as I am. It's stemming the flow of water in a small burn here. The beavers' supporters argue dams like this one provide important habitats for a wide range of other species. But landowners are worried. They're worried about impact on forestry, on fishing, and even about the increased dangers of flooding. Louise Ramsey of the Scottish Wild Beaver Group fears they are now planning a secret cull. The statement that came out, the official statement, was the Scottish Government doesn't consider the beavers to be protected, but they wanted landowners and farmers only to use lethal control in the last resort. But since then, we've had two separate reports that the, the government does want the beavers dead, actually, and they would like support in conducting a, a cull but keeping it quiet. In March, the Environment Minister Stuart Stevenson announced the Tay beavers had won a stay of execution. He ruled out a cull, deciding instead to delay making a final decision on the future of the animals until an official beaver reintroduction trial at Knapdale in Argyll was completed in 2015. It was a decision the minister shouldn't have had to make because, under the law, the beavers shouldn't have been there in the first place. These beavers have been introduced illegally, there's no question about that, and I want to send a very strong message that that simply isn't the way to go about things. We've got to work with the grain of interests in our countryside when we make reintroductions. The minister's decision was widely welcomed, seen as a pragmatic, albeit temporary, solution to a difficult issue. How the first of the beavers arrived on the Tay is a closely guarded secret. Estimates of the size of the population vary, but the figure is believed to be over a hundred and growing. A decision on the animal's future will have to be made at some point, but how? Simon Milne is the chief executive of the Scottish Wildlife Trust. The Scottish beaver trial in Napdale is probably more important than it ever was because the future of the beavers in Tayside will actually rest on some of the scientific uh, stuff that's coming out of the trial at Napdale, because that's a full scientific study using baseline data over five years. The idea is to make sure that we know exactly how beavers will fare in today's environment and any impacts, positive and perhaps negative, they might have. So that will inform the future of the beavers on Tayside. The Scottish Government insists the claims of a secret cull are untrue, but points out that during the trial period, beavers do not have full legal protection. That's something which campaigners like Louise Ramsey want to see changed. The Environment Minister Stuart Stevenson wasn't available for interview, but a spokesman told us that where there are conflicts with land use, in most cases alternative management solutions can be found, and the Scottish Government doesn't see any reason at present to support a cull. Our environment correspondent David Miller.